As a full-time professor, I understand where college students are, the hurdles they face, and the opportunities that many are not aware of. I've perfected a student battle-tested plan for conquering communication in the classroom, in student life, in the communities, and in the professional fields. When I come in and talk with colleges and universities, I have four topics. Personal branding, leadership development, nonverbal communication hacks, and organizational branding. The leadership and communication skills you gain through your college experience is setting you up for a lifetime of success. From branding yourself digitally to negotiating future salaries, effective communication really is absolutely essential. It's about giving students actionable steps on how to communicate better and find and achieve opportunities. I don't talk in the clouds or give some big abstract principles. My talks are entertaining, thought provoking, and rooted in the notion that everyone can use skills to become a better communicator. When schools partner with me, they should feel confident that my keynotes are informative and engaging, but also credible and coming from a place of relevancy. These talks are interactive and designed to give students a tactical roadmap to communicate successfully inside and outside of the classroom. Every student needs to leave their college experience with skills in leadership, personal branding, and effective communication. So in this time, I'm going to try to get it through as many life hacks. That's not what I call it. Very quick, I'm not going to talk on an academic level. We're going to say what specifically can you do today that increases likability, authority, and most importantly, memory recall. Who's bought a car in the last year? Use new car. Okay. So car salespeople are trained to use mirrored body language. So if I don't know if you notice this or if you're going to buy a car in the future, keep an eye out for it. They are trained to mirror your body language however you're standing. If you're leaning against the car, wait about 30 seconds, they're going to lean against the car. <laughs> Psychologically, we like ourselves, right? If we are happy, if we are happy with ourselves, and I see you, I see myself in you, we are together, we're on the same level as quickly as possible. I don't know your beliefs, I don't know your values, but you're standing like I am. I see a similarity here, there's more trust factor. Anytime, pro hack, if you are going to be on TV, a job interview, a big meeting, you're going to be client facing, any opportunity where you really want your message given and come across very effectively, traditional clothes. There's a saying that if you're, if you're on a job interview and someone compliments you on your tie or your purse or your blouse, your earrings, then you should never wear that item on a job interview ever again. <laughs> never. The purpose of that is because if they're looking at your earrings or your tie or your blouse or whatnot, they're not paying attention to what you have to say. So I really enjoyed uh, Dr. York's talk um, on some hacks that he's learned in his life. Uh, one of the things that Dr. York said that really stuck with me was to set your goals higher than the average standard um, because if you do fail, you're still above the standard that was set so you still accomplish something and so for me that was huge understand it was a huge learning for me um, because I'm always used to kind of you know setting minimum standards but I like to uh, go past those standards and excel past uh, what I can do for myself and it was very very helpful. I found it very inspirational to hear about Dr. York's uh, life story and sort of how he works his way up from not having that much to becoming the successful guy that he is today. Dr. York's talk really just solidified the idea that it's okay to be a talker and it's okay to be the communicator. It's one of my top five strengths and I think that it really takes you to the next level when you're able to network and communicate with people and he just really made me feel comfortable in doing so. The biggest thing I took away from Dr. York's talk was that you should make the most of every opportunity and even if there aren't any opportunities, you can make some for yourself.